you ever get those weeks when you're not really that inspired? This has been one of those weeks for me. I posted a video on my page a couple of days that had some inspiration behind it. And I, I sometimes wonder if I should have posted that. It was when you're when you're mad and you then you calm down and you go back and you listen again later to what you said when you were mad. Sometimes you wish you would have reworded things differently. But you know, I don't I don't really regret what I said, but maybe how I said some things. Um, I want to kind of, and just this week being a crazy week for me with family members and friends, I guess, just uh, really kind of saying things that are not true about me. And I got to thinking about Paul's question about how I want to be remembered when I die. I want to be remembered as someone who loved people, who cared for people. I want my tombstone to say, Here lies Wayne Watley, 1980 till whatever day I die. And he loved people, and he had a gentle spirit. And normally, that's kind of how it was like for me for a long time and I feel I feel like I'm still the same person but people who don't know me except for from afar who used to know me are saying all these things about how I hate Christians and I hate God and that I'm a I don't know that I'm an agnostic atheist and I haven't made any decisions on any of that. For someone who hasn't attempted to contact me in quite a long time, come to a conclusion about where I am in life, whenever I haven't come to a conclusion about where I am in life, it just really pisses me off. And so I kind of need to chill out. And I need to be the person I want my epitaph to be or to say. I want to be remembered for someone who cared for others. You know, no matter what I believe, and no matter what you believe in life or don't believe, that's going to pass. When you're gone, people are going to think back and either miss you or not. And how you made that person feel is going to take precedence over anything that you believed about the invisible what do you believe about reality what do you believe about how you should treat others these are good questions but not just what do you believe but do you actually practice what you preach now I'm not being preachy these are things I have to ask myself and so I leave it with this question do you feel that other people are better people because you're in their life? Next up is Josh with ZZZ Giant Awake. I'll see you guys later. This world will pass away. Get my emotions with